This is my recap and reaction to Sister Wives Season 2, Episodes 3 and 4, part of my rewatch series. These are the episodes that show the family and what their life was like in Lehigh, Utah, right before they ran away to Las Vegas. In Episodes 3 and 4, the family talk about their money situation, and Cody creates the weirdest Halloween costume of all time, I promise. Episode 3 starts with Cody arriving to the house with his famous white convertible that he had at the time, and he announces that he's going on a camping trip randomly with Janelle to Arches National Park because it's important for him to nurture the relationships with every wife. Like, wow, where did this Cody even go? He seems to actually care here. And honestly, I don't know why they would go to like a national park when there's a police investigation pending on their family, but I guess it's all about the distraction. And somewhat predictably, Janelle and Cody get in a light tiff about buying sleeping bags for the trip. Janelle says that she doesn't want to spend the money, and she says that money has been a constant source of friction in their marriage. This episode actually focuses on Janelle pretty heavily, and of course, she talks about bills and money a lot because that's so Janelle. At this point in their lives, Janelle was like the main earner of the family along with Cody, and she was kind of like an operational manager is how I would describe her in a way because I think she does, she pays all the bills or takes care of the financial stuff. I know she did the taxes, and she also helped Christine with what was needed for the pantry. And I wonder if Janelle still will do their taxes if she's now separated from Cody, actually. Like, is she still still helping out with the finances? Who knows? About how they can afford such a big family, Cody says it's a communal thing. Everyone has their talent and everyone has the same goal and everyone contributes. Janelle opens up about how she was stressed out about Robin coming into the family and it had to do with mainly because she says now their money had to go further and they were already kind of like barely scraping by every month. She described it as like they didn't really know how they were going to pay for everything but somehow at the end of every month they did. So that was the state of their finances at the time. Christine said that she was excited to get help from Robin, though, with the kids because she was already so stressed out taking care of all of them, which I don't blame her. Janelle says that Robin had been looking for a job and she kind of seems hopeful that she's going to find one eventually, but obviously we know this never developed into anything. I don't think Robin worked at all except for like obviously she has a job to be on the show and with my sister wife's closet. And it kind of seems like Janelle was straight up questioning the value Robin was bringing into the family, even from the beginning. Robin is worried about this, and she's kind of aware of what Janelle thinks, and says, you know, she didn't know who to give her bills to. Like, do I just put it on the table to get paid? And she hopes and prays that Janelle sees her value eventually. And now we're back at Janelle and Cody's camping trip, and Janelle says that when she's with Cody, she feels like the center of his world. So that's interesting. Cody kisses Janelle on the neck on camera, which was shocking to me. I was like, my eyes! I've never seen that before. And he tells the camera that she doesn't like PDA, but he's comfortable. And she kind of blames Mary for this. She says that when they were first married, Mary was all over Cody all the time, and she had to kind of learn how to balance that. And Janelle is pretty real in this episode, while some of the other wives, I don't know, it just looks like they're kind of putting on a front in a way, like just knowing what I know now, right? Like things were not this rosy at the time. Okay, so let's now go to episode four. So in episode four, the Browns celebrate Halloween to distract themselves from the police investigation drama. They go to a park and have pizza and Christine says, you know, they don't often do pizza because it's too expensive. So this is considered like a splurge. 
But so in the last two episodes, it kind of makes me think that times were pretty tough in terms of money before the show really started to take off. At this point, they probably hadn't made much with the show because they'd only done like one little season. And I know McKelty had said that at one point in the family, you know, food was pretty slim. And at times she ate like bread for supper or something, which is sad. So, and now there's like a whole segment about how smooth it has been since Robin came into the family. Almost like they're trying to sell us on that. And Logan is like, it was very smooth. The kids are integrating well. Okay, I mean, we know that's not exactly true. Maddie interjects and says that sometimes Robin's kids cry for no reason. So yeah, and then there's like a bit about how Brianna's super sensitive. Well, she's gone through so many changes, I don't really blame her for crying randomly. Then they go to the pumpkin patch and they have a hay bale maze there and the kids all go off to get their pumpkins. Let's admire Garrison's faux hawk or mohawk hairstyle here. Mary likes this green pumpkin and I don't know why someone would pick a green one, honestly. The pumpkins they kind of picked, honestly, some of them were like green, partially green, or looked like they had gone bad. So I don't know how experienced they were in picking the pumpkins. Then Logan leads this big pumpkin carving event for the kids. I'm reminded again in season two how important Logan was at this time. He was like a parent. Honestly, I think the kids idolized him and he was like a very important role model for them. And when I thought Cody's hair just could not get worse, it did. I didn't even know what this look was. I think he was either a bandmate or, you know, I think actually he ended up having to be the son. But it has to be an all time worst costume. And the wives were air, water, fire, and earth, the elements that make the world go round and they need the sun to operate. So it's like very corny, but kind of entertaining as a group costume. And I mean, they tried. I think at this time, They were kind of masking some of the drama and hiding the fear they had about the police investigation with like fun activities, which is such a parent thing to do. And uh, it makes sense. But we all know things will be coming to a head soon in this season. And the big move is upon us, guys. These episodes, I feel definitely were trying to like sell polygamy to us or something. I just, I don't know. I just feel like they probably needed a few seasons to even be comfortable being themselves on camera. So, but season two is a good season. All right, guys, thanks so much for listening the whole way through. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell me what you think about season two so far in the comments. Bye.